channel my name is Anne Marie welcome if you are new here welcome back if you are not um, so today for you I have another haul but before we get into the haul a couple of you wanted to see my new baby let me show you come come baby oh this is Bonnie she's a little baby she's the baby this is Bonnie say hi Bonnie hi say hi oh she's cute she's a madam she's a rat cow bag but she's gorgeous on you on you Yes. Yes. So now the introductions are over. Today I have for you a Asda's haul, so a Georgia Asda's haul. I was going to do a Matalan one which has been requested, um, but I walked in, I had a look around and really there really wasn't, I think there was one dress that I liked, one dress out of the whole store. And the Matalan I went to is quite a big one, so I'm thinking maybe they are again in the transition period because they did have quite a lot of sale on. Um, so yeah. So we didn't do an Atlanta haul. I will try it again, maybe in like a month or so, maybe when they've got like their proper summer stuff going. But at the moment, it, I just wasn't really feeling Metalan. So we went to Asda, um, and Asda did some really nice bits. So the Asda I went to was just George in an Asda supermarket. So my my Asda does have quite a large George sort of Asda's living homeware section, but there are like Asda's which is just like Asda living. So. I got some good bits in a really small section, so you can just imagine what actual like, Asda's living's like. Um, as you, if you've seen my other Asda's video, you'll know I'm not a massive fan of the fit of Asda's. However, the stuff is pretty, so I thought I would give it a go again. Um, did find some cute bits last time, so fingers crossed this look fits just as good. Okay, so the first thing I grabbed was this cute little black and white sort of like leopard printy wrap brown dress. Um, so it's got flowy sleeves, got like a frill around the neckline, a frill around the bottom, and then it ties around. Um, I just thought this was really cute. It's gonna, you could dress it up. You could just wear it casual with sandals. Um, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And this was 16 pounds and I grabbed it in a size 10. So I have the um, the black and white wraparound dress on. Um, yeah, I mean you can't go, you cannot go wrong with a wraparound dress. Um, you can dress it up or down. Um, they're just so flattering. Like, it just brings you in at the waist. Even if you haven't got a waist, it's going to bring you in where it's obviously tired. Um, it's a lovely little length. Yeah, you you just can't go wrong. It's such a cute little little dress. I do love a wraparound dress. They're just the most flattering stuff ever. The next thing I grabbed was this one. So again, it's another wraparound dress because they are my favorite kind of dress. I just think they're the most flattering dress on any body shape. Um, but yeah, so again, flowy sleeves, frill around the neckline, a frill around the bottom, but this one's slightly longer. I feel like at the back, this one goes sort of mid calf and I think it's higher at the front. I mean, again, it just ties around the waist. Um, it's got a lovely sort of green and purple floral print. Um, I just thought this was really pretty. I think you could dress this up and it'd be like a nice wedding outfit, like a wedding guest outfit. Um, so this was £18, so only £2 more for, a, I feel like, quite a lot more dress. That's not bad. Um, and I grabbed, I grabbed it in a size 10. Okay, so I've got the other um, wrap over dress on. I don't like this one as much as the shorter one, just because of the length. Like... The, like above the knee is the most flattering length for my shape because I've got the hips. Um, however, I think with, um, and it doesn't really come up at the front like a 40 did, which I think had it come up slightly at the front like that, we would have been all right, just slightly. Um, but because it's all one length, it's not the most, can you see? Let's show you how long it is. So it's this long, excuse the socks. So it's all like all one length. Had it been sort of like slightly raised at the front, I think we would have been all right. But because it's all one length, it's not the most flattering on me personally. However, I do still fit with a nice pair of heels and um, like some jewelry, a nice bag, even like a fascinator. This is gonna make a lovely um, like wedding guest outfit. It's just, it's really pretty. I feel like this is a bit big as well. Um, like I've really like had to tie that in. So maybe the size down would be best in this dress. Um, but yeah, a lovely, lovely dress. Just not the correct leg length for my shape personally. 
The next thing I grabbed is probably something I can wear more now rather than the other dresses because it's still not very warm, <laughs> guys. It is coming towards the end of March and we're still not very warm. I'm not happy about the situation. Of course, there's nothing I can do about that because it's the weather. <laughs> I've then gone on holiday, but you know who's got time for that? Um, yeah, so it is just a knitted midi black dress with buttons all the way down, long sleeves. Um, yeah, I just thought it was nice um comfortable dress chuck on with like a pair of pumps or even a pair of trainers like a denim jacket or something it's gonna be a nice transition piece um so this was 18 pounds again and i grabbed it in a medium which is a 12 to 14. i didn't want it to be too clingy because it is fitted okay so i've got the long sleeve um knitted black dress on and it's really comfy it's so comfortable like it's one of those you could just literally just mope about the house all day in however um I don't know if I'd feel comfortable in it because it is quite fitted. Um, and you see you need the correct knickers on these ones. Sort of dig into my hips a little bit. Give me a bit of a, <laughs> a fire bulge. Um, so probably not the best ones to bear with this dress. But it's so soft. Like it's so comfortable. Like I could literally lounge in the house in this all day. Leaving the house in it, I'm not sure. Um, but I suppose if you like a pair of trainers and a jacket, it probably would be okay. Um, but yeah, we'll have to try some outfits on with it, some bits on, see if it looks right. But comfort-wise, it's so, so comfy. Like, it's super, super soft. And it's not bulging at all. You know when, like, some of these dresses, they can sort of pull a little bit at the buttons. This isn't. Does this even unbutton? Ah, oh, that's because they're not real buttons, children. They are not real buttons. That's why they're not gaping. This is, that's brilliant. It's a fantastic idea. Because, like, the ones from Primark, they're actual real buttons. And you... Wash them once and then they're bulging. <laughs> this one, you're not going to have that problem because there's not real buttons. So the next thing I grabbed, I will show you as an outfit. So the first thing is this cute little floral top. So again, it is a wraparound top. So it's flattering in the dress or a top. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really pretty sort of nice, pretty pinky coloured um, flowers on a green background um and then just ties at the waist it's got like cute little sort of mint green tassels on the tire and then it's just got like peplumed head dog's going mad um that was 15 pounds so you got your dress for 16 and a top for 15 so you know you've got a whole outfit in the dress for 16 quid. so it's quite dear i think considering that the dress was only 16 this is 15 but it is really really pretty and i grabbed that in a size 10 and to go with that i grabbed these bad boys so they're like pleather leggings um got silver zips here they're real zip probably not no they are just fake for show zips and um, but what i really liked about these was that they had another zip at the front so obviously which can be worn up or down i just thought that was really cool just add a little something um yeah so these I grabbed in a size 12 because I've got to put my butt in them and they were £16. Okay, so I have the leather trousers and the top on. The top is absolutely adorable, although I think I need to size down just because my boob keeps popping out. You know, I have this trouble every time. I don't have the largest bust area, so these wrap over tops don't like just stay keep me hidden should i say but it's absolutely adorable i love the print love the fit um it's got like a little button here to hold this side over and then obviously you just tie it here with this cute little tassel which are absolutely adorable it's just lovely this is gonna be like with like a barbecue um just like a pub lunch like it's just gonna be an all-around top again dress it up or down i'd say um the pants the trousers i really um let me tell you do not size down in these this was a struggle these are a 12. It was a struggle, let me tell you. But on another note, they're nice and tight. They hold you in. They're so super high waisted and they properly hold you in. Um, and then obviously you've got the both, I don't know if you can see very clearly, you've got both of them. You've got these ones unzipped and this one zipped. So both look very fabulous. The only thing I find with leather trousers is look, they stick, they're going onto my butt crease because I've got a big butt. Like, you couldn't go a size up because they would just be baggy but in this size i feel like they're just not very flattering like they just show everything they show all the lumps and bumps um if that doesn't but i say lumps and bumps i don't like the way they look on the back of my legs personally but they hold you in nice and tight 
I love the zips at the bottom. They're so they are very very comfortable. Um, and they had them in like a sort of a creamy taupe colour as well, like almost like like a minky colour, which were really really nice. I just have my size there, so would have grabbed them once totally otherwise. But um, yeah. For me, it's a no for the bottoms. Love the top, but they are a nice sort of addition to a, a pleather trouser. Um, I have the same issue with all pleather trousers. It's not just these ones. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, next time. And then the last things I purchased. Again, I'm going to show you as an outfit. So it is this really sort of pretty pink sort of crinkled top. It's got like little crinkled. Um, Sleeves and then like sort of like a crinkled, like a frill edge, frill sleeves, frill edge, round neck. And this was only eight pounds, and I rather than a size ten, I had this in black as well. And then to go with it, I just thought this was so lovely. It's just like a like a midi silk, like satin type skirt. So it's elasticated at the waist, and then it's just just a, a midi skirt. I just thought it was really really pretty. I love, like the fabric. Um, again, you must dress this up or down. And that was £14 and I grabbed that in a 10. Okay, so I've got the black silk skirt and the pink top on. I think I need the size up in the t-shirt, but the size down in the skirt. Um, and I'm not sure my vision was fabulous when I put these... I mean, in my head, it looked good. And I think... I don't know. I'm not sure. I definitely think I need the size down in the skirt because there's too much room around the waist. And then I definitely feel like I need the size up in the top because it's tight under the arms. Um, but separately, I really like the skirt. Um, again, it's probably not the most flattering length. Can you see? Hold on, let me show you. Probably not the most flattering length for me, but then I suppose with a pair of heels and the right top, maybe like a spaghetti strapped white sort of chiffonny top would look cute with this, like for a night out maybe. Or like a wedding gift outfit, but maybe don't wear black to a wedding, so I don't know. But um, yeah, it's re I really like the pieces separately. I don't know if they go together. The vision in my head hasn't transpired clearly <laughs> um but yeah i would say size up in this i put this in a 10 this is really quite tight under the arm so um yeah size up in the pink top if you're after this and the skirt is quite a lot of room around the waist i feel like i can easily get away with an eight with that which is weird because that's my bottom part like just even in the same chain even in the same shop the sizing is so different like this i need a size 12 in the other top i needed a size eight like it's just you just need to try and error isn't it it's all trial out trial and error <laughs> Um, but that was my Asda's haul guys I hope you enjoyed it um, some lovely bits in there I need to get myself down to the Asda's living I think because there's some lovely bits in the jewel in the Asda's in in the George in my Asda but can you imagine what they've got in the actual Asda's living like the clothing section is twice the size um, so yes thank you so much for watching guys um, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe and if you'd like me to do any hauls for different shops I'm sorry I know I said I'd do Matalan but I just don't like it at the moment but when, when they've got some nice stuff I'll definitely do Matalan <laughs> um, thanks for watching guys bye oh, should we have one more look at the puppy Bunny. Hi, Bonnie. Say hi. <laughs>